Take a look. People gathered outside the state capitol calling for gun reform tonight. It is part of a national movement called March for Our Lives. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. It's one of five rallies held across the country this week. ABC 10's Alicia Machado was at the rally in Sacramento tonight and has more on what the protesters are calling for. Student advocates and gun violence survivors are demanding action on gun violence legislation now five years since the March for Our Lives movement first began. While they say over the years progress has been made, they say more work needs to be done. Shots fired at Saugus. A phrase no parent wants to hear, but one still etched into the mind of educators like John Minkus and others four years after a shooting at a Southern California high school. He and teacher Jim Klipfell recounting that day on the steps of the state capitol to push for change at the March for Our Lives rally in Sacramento. It has been a long and slow recovery for us. Still recovering from the trauma and pain of the November 2019 shooting at Saugus High School in Santa Clarita. Two teenagers killed and three others wounded by a 16-year-old student before taking his own life. Clip fell, acting as a first responder that day to help save the lives of students. Unfortunately, we were one of many and it continues to grow the count of these school shootings. And anything we can do to help people recover and prepare and move forward and, as I said, move the needle on preventing you know, other tragedies like this. Student advocates are pushing to do just that, holding a rally at the state capitol to demand action on gun safety legislation. 2023 marks five years since the March for Our Lives movement began, following the shooting at a Parkland, Florida high school that killed 17 students and staff. These rallies are here to say that we're still here, we're still fighting, and we're pushing for local legislation here in California because we know that local advocacy is some of the most impactful ways to get movements going. Organizers acknowledge that California has some of the strictest gun laws in the nation, but say more work needs to be done. They're pushing for the passage of Senate Bill 2 in California that would set stricter concealed carry requirements. But Second Amendment rights advocates are speaking out about the bill. SB 2 is a challenge, and it's a challenge because in many cases it, it, it allows both the state or more in particular local municipalities to create a, a hodgepodge of random restrictions and requirements. California Republican Assembly spokesman Craig DeLuz concerned about how the requirements would impact holders of concealed carry permits. It also allows local municipalities to be able to make random restrictions as to as to when and where an individual is able to carry. Most of the places uh, that you need to carry, you are not able to carry it. One great example is in places of worship. How many instances have we seen uh, in the last decade of active shooter situations taking place at places of worship. A committee hearing for SB2 is set for next Tuesday. All right, Alicia, thank you. And this rally comes on the same day a school shooting was falsely reported at a Stockton High School. Police now say that call was part of a prank. More on that coming up in just a few minutes on Late News Tonight.